Welcome to viewers in our learning for knowledge channel. We are here with another important video. The topic of this video is the drinking water sources and what are the important substance which we must consider before we will decide whether this water is able to drink or not because clean and healthy water is the basic requirement of human being. So in this video we will focus or we will present you some of the substances which must be considered for drinking water and what is the disinfection technique or what is the purpose of disinfection with respect to drinking water. So we will move towards the video and see. talk about the drinking water sources and acceptability aspects for drinking water now there are three major sources for water number one groundwater number two surface water and number three municipal water supplies which in countries and cities supplied by the government safe water is basically essential to sustain life so what is groundwater Basically groundwater you can see in this picture the water coming inside the earth crust through boring or installing some turbines and uh, you can see this is also called as fresh water if its TDS are within the normal range. Second is surface water the water of lakes, rivers and uh, oceans this is comes under the category of surface water and third one is municipal water supply is the water uh, su supplies through these pipelines and stored in the big overhead tanks and then uh, these waters are sometimes treated and supplied to human beings the main focus of this treatment is depend upon the source of water from where they get and store in the overhead tanks so acceptability aspects of water what is this so there are wide range of measurable characteristic compounds or constituents can be found in water and may affect its quality what are those in the last video we described those uh, these categories and they fall in three categories number one physical microbial and chemical which includes inorganic organic compounds pesticides etc and appearance taste belongs to physical and the bacteria viruses and other these side of uh, you know uh, viruses uh, belongs to microbiome so appearance taste and order are useful indicators basically this is the basic indicator when we look towards the water then its appearance its color and its order these are the basic indicator for quality because they are generally the characteristic by which the by which the public judges water quality so before we will drink we can judge the water quality through appearance taste uh, before taste order and its color this is the physical characteristic of the water and important substances that can be considered undesirable in excess if they are in excess what are those color if the color of the water is not uh, is very high or some blue bluish yellowish or reddish touch then we will consider that color is unacceptable so normally we prefer the water which is transparent then suspended matter that the particle which are not completely dissolved but suspended like colloidals and uh, uh, collided types of material third is turbidity due to this colloidal and suspended matter the transparency of the or clarity of the water uh, is not good so turbidity which is basically the measure of the clarity or transparency of the water if water is turbid it assumes that it is not fit for drinking although it is uh, we cannot generalize this uh, at the moment then very important thing is pathogens these can be viruses bacteria protozo or other types of pathogenic organisms that can adversely affect the health this is a very important thing then hardness 
excessive and extremely low both sides so low hardness are equally undesirable and i already explained that taste and color order are also an important if taste is sour or not good or order is not well then this cannot be considered as a drinking water and then harmful chemicals like arsenic or any organic compound which comes up from some industry and present in the water so we should consider these parameters before we will decide whether this water is useful for health and safe for drinking if these properties are present and then we not not properly present and there are some parameters outside or excessive then we need a water treatment objective of water treatment is palatable that is has no unpleasant taste and this taste may be due to the excess of some inorganic salt or some other things number 2 safe it should not contain any pathogenic organism or chemical that could be harmful to the consumer we want to treat the water so it become clear free from suspended matter and turbidity and colorless and odorless there that water looks like aesthetic to drink no color no odor reasonably soft as i already told that hardness must not be extremely high or extremely low so reasonably soft to allow consumer to wash cloths dishes and themselves without excessive use of detergents or so this is domestic use non corrosive water should not be corrosive that is which i already explained you in the last video that this belongs to ph if it is more acidic then it become corrosive and it is not good for health as well as piping systems piping network it leads to corrosion low in organic con content a high organic content will boost unwanted biological growth in pipes or storage tanks so if water in the storage tanks become bad it will affect the uh, human beings which will consume it so these are generalized purpose of water treatment regarding drinking water now we come to the uh, fundamental principle should always be remember that among these physical microbial and you know inorganic and organic uh, substances or contaminants the greatest risk to consumers of drinking water are pathogenic microorganism like bacteria algae etc or viruses protection of water sources and treatment are of paramount important and must never be compound so we should not compromise the protection of water from development of these pathogens we can tolerate to some extent high tds we can tolerate low or high hardness water we may consider a water to be a drinkable if it it is not completely transparent it is slightly turbid but never compromise the water for pathogenic or microorganisms water borne patho pathogens can cause outbreaks of illness affecting a high proportion of the community and in extreme cases causing death this may be leads to very severe problem in the community if we will compromise or we will not consider the uh, removal of pathogens from the water so changes in normal appearance taste or odor of a drinking water may signal changes in the quality of the raw water source or deficiencies in the treatment process if water appears to be dirty or more turbid that it means there is something wrong from where the water is coming there is something wrong so we should consider it if we have a treatment process maybe it is not working properly if it is coming from some bore it means there is some mixing going on so we should consider these are the indication that water quality is going change so how much treatment is needed it depend on the level of protection of water supply for example if we have a ground water it needs no treatment if it's uh, tds and other things uh, some inorganic salts are within the permissible limits but if we if the water is coming from rivers lakes oceans 
and something like it is collected by rain so we need a treatment so completely protected groundwater may not require treatment so i am uh, writing the word may not most of the time not required but if more salty more saline water coming from earth like you have a water source in a region where is a uh, mines or salt region it will bring more salts when you uh, bore the bore and get the water from ground water so maybe we need some little bit treatment but all other supplies like surface water or you know municipal water supplies will require continuous disinfection so this i will tell what is the infection so if water supplies are not completely protected filtration is likely to be required the great majority of the evident water related health problems are the results of microbial remember this is again i am again stressing that we should focus on <coughs> the problem created or generated by bacteria virus or other biological species therefore killing of these microbial are essential through disinfection the the main focus in this video is the killing of these microbial uh, disinfection this is called the dis disinfection process and that has the greatest impact on drinking water safety disinfection kills all bacterial pathogen and reduce number of viral pathogens one of the good example of chlorination of drinking water supplies which is an important disinfection process there are some other disinfectants also available in the market but in general term chlorination is a term which is commonly used and easily easy to apply uh, with the help of some chemical and responsible this chlorination is basically considered to be responsible for reduction in viral diseases which were normally comes in our old ages but this is this has this was reduced in 20th century due to this chlorination so at the end the message is this infection should not be compromised in attempting to control this infection this infection by products what this mean don't afraid that when we apply disinfection there are some by products uh, due to killing of those pathogens don't afraid of that so focus must be on disinfection and early and timely then if there are big disinfection and by products you can install some filtration setup some filter which will remove the by products of uh, by products resulted through disinfection process so at the end if i will conclude this that the impurities present in the water one of the very harmful is the presence of microbial which are bacteria algae and different type of viruses we should avoid those otherwise these will bring some diseases which uh, will be very dangerous for the humanity other impurities may be tolerated to some extent and maybe we will discuss the other aspect other impurities in the other videos